Well, hello and welcome back to The Shallow Proclamation. My name is Paul. I'm Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking it's going to be seamless this time. And I'm Thomas. Um, we are on the final episode of Marco Polo, episode seven. What other options do we have here? Manage cookies? <laughs> I should have bought some cookies, so I need a snack as I'm going through this. Yeah. I mean, I'm still quite impressed by the way these reconstructions have been done. It's obviously a lot of effort to, that someone's gone to to take all these photos and arrange them to, you know, with the scenes that fit with the scenes, but also to, you know, to Photoshop them around a little bit. And oh, it's a incredible. lot of work. Yeah. Oh, those outfits, they've changed again. Yeah. Yeah, those are great outfits, aren't they? There's been so much. There must be so much money spent on this story because there's been so many different sets, so many different changes of outfit. Um, yeah, you, you'd think with all the effort gone into this, they would make every effort whatsoever to preserve footage of this episode. <laughs> it's a pleasure to see you again. No, my lord, I fear not. It's a real feast for the eyes, isn't it, this one? Yeah. So here's our showdown, Polo and Tigana. Oh, yeah. Another iconic Doctor Who f fight happening here. Very hard to convey this in still images, but you know. God bless them, they're trying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We've seen. <laughs> seen a bit of repetition yeah, of the shots now. They have about five photos to work with. <laughs> repetition as a form of comedy. <laughs> This is it for Tigana. This is it. We warned you, Tigana. Those Doesn't... who rise against us will be humbled. You must die. Oh, crumbs. Yeah. I wonder how graphic that was originally. Take it away. Impaling Wait. himself. Yeah. <laughs> I doubt it was particularly graphic at this stage. Although I think Doctor Who, in particularly in the seventies, there are some some quite bloody things, particularly in comparison to the modern series. Yeah. yeah rushing into the TARDIS. Oh no. So that that was a very hasty farewell, wasn't it? Yeah. So we've done, we've got through this. This was literally the thing I was most concerned about coming into this this uh, this kind of project, was getting through right. this story, because it's our first recon, and because it's all missing. And, yeah, how is it going to work? How hard would it be? And uh, I, it was tough, I'll give you, I mean, I'll say that, but, um, uh, yeah, I mean, do you have any thoughts on the whole thing overall? Well, I will just say, I think the sets were incredible. <laughs> um, but I genuinely mean that, especially for this one, um, yeah. as as you have said. And, you know, I think good kind of central characters with Marco and, was it Tigan and... Um, Tigan, yeah. Ping Cho. Cho. <laughs> Sorry, my... My, Clearly, it's had a big I'm effect so on you, tired. you know. <laughs> Memorable characters, like, uh, what's it called? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, like, they were kind of the uh, the emotional core of the piece, weren't they? Uh, mm. Mm. I think, yeah, I mean, uh, I think it was a, uh, I think it is a good story. I think probably if you just listen, you know, I mean, obviously when we're doing it, the two of us, we've kind of got to say something about it. I mean, probably the recons... I mean, they do work as audio. I guess you can sit and just listen and you probably, you know, in a sense, probably we could both get more from it by listening to it by ourselves. 
um, but it, maybe in this medium it doesn't work quite as well when you have to watch it with someone and talk yeah. about it because obviously therefore you naturally miss what's going on because you don't have the images to keep an eye on whilst you chat with um, subtitles and bits um, you're going to make some time to do that this week aren't you to, to listen through all seven episodes again <laughs> absolutely <laughs> I might just do it now before I go to bed um, on five times speed um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah I mean I think I think it probably I think it is a good story um, and I think what you definitely get a sense of through it is that the companions the Doctor and Susan and kind of Ian and Barbara have all they're much more bonded now I think we said this at the end of the Dalek story that that was getting there anyway they were beginning to move in that direction but they feel like the sort of TARDIS team now rather than uh, Ian and Barbara although Ian and Barbara are still sort of along for the ride um, they, there's a bond now between them and the Doctor and Susan that I think probably wasn't there maybe even at the beginning of the story so um, yeah and, and as we've said it, it's it it looks great, you know. We did, you know, we do joke about the sets, but um, only because they do look so good. And I think, yeah. in particular, this story looks so good. Um, so um, yeah, I mean, the photos are, are great. It looks beautiful, um, and the music. We, you know, we enjoy, I, I enjoyed the music. I thought the music was very well done as well. It wasn't ever intrusive, um, but I thought it was done very tastefully. I think we said in one of the earlier episodes, it kind of uses bits of instrument, you know, real instruments, bits of instrumentation. Um, that are kind of very fit with the the piece. So um, yeah, I think it's really strong. It's just a real shame it doesn't exist because I think we probably would have enjoyed it even more if it was there visually to to watch. So yeah, it feels in a way unfair to compare it to other episodes and stories because yeah, we just don't quite know. But yeah, you had to be there. You had to be there to see it. That's part of its charm in a way. Like a, a theatre production, you, you have to be there to see it and then it's gone. Um, maybe if yeah. any viewers from, who yeah, who lived... Uh, did anyone see it? The, yeah. Yeah, did anyone see it in 1964? Yeah, that's the thing. If I had a time machine, I could go back and I would just make sure I watched all these episodes... And I also turn up at the BBC and say, don't throw that away. Probably best you hold on to that. <laughs> That's the one thing you would do if you had a time machine. <laughs> That's what I would do if I had a time machine. I would go back and rescue Lost Doctor Who episodes. <laughs> but then, of course, Thomas, the reality is that if I went back and rescued Lost Doctor Who episodes, therefore those episodes would never be lost, negating the need for me to go back and save lost episodes which means I would never have gone back in the first place and therefore those episodes would have remained lost <laughs> and never been found and oh, we'd be stuck in the, the bootstrap thing. paradox <laughs> this is the thing with uh, with time travel and um, you know you have to decide for your particular universe <laughs> how is uh, it going to function creating. yeah how are you going to resolve that <laughs> yep so it'll be interesting to see how Doctor Who deals with that over the ages. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so Marco Polo. Um, yeah, we've done it. We've got through seven episodes. The good news is we are about to enter in to the longest run of uninterrupted um, episodes in the kind of 60s black and white era. Um, I think we've got 44 episodes on the trot now, which are all there. Wow. Um, so that's encouraging after that. It, um, and of course, like I say, we obviously season three, we'll look ahead to that. There's going to be some tricky bits there. But uh, once we get through that, we're, we're going to, we've got lots of good stuff ahead as well. So, but we've got a good run now of, of uh, moving pictures um, and existing stories, which is, which is good. So I think that would be um, good for us to, to crack on to. Yeah. Well, you know, Paul, we, we've watched 20 episodes together now. Have we? Yeah. There we go. Doing all right. Doing all right. So. Cool. All right, then, guys. Well, thank you for joining us through Marco Polo. Let us know what you thought of it. Um, particularly, let us know if you saw it when it came out the first time. That'd be great. 
um, and give us some thoughts. Um, please hit like and subscribe. Um, do keep, um, you know, if you know other Doctor Who fans, do share this around. Um, we're enjoying seeing your comments and uh, seeing some, some of the same names keep popping up in the comments, which is great. So we hope you're enjoying it. Drop us some comments and things as well. And we'll catch you next time for episode one of The Keys of Marinus. But until then, take care. Bye-bye. Goodbye.